I'm so excited about being on my first whitetail hunt for a Kansas buck, but think about doing it with two cameramen. Did you get that? Two guides. It's trying to stock up on a Kansas buck. I'm burning my candle at both ends. Gonna go to heaven, but I don't know. Ashes to ashes, can I get it? Amen. Burning my candle at both ends. We've got a lease in north central Kansas that is pretty much sand hills with some thicker creek bottom. One thing that's cool about Kansas, they only allow rifle hunters about 12 days to hunt. It's right at the beginning of December to about December the 10th or 12th, so depending on what those days are. And that's the only time the whole state of Kansas gets to use a rifle. I've always heard how big Kansas whitetail are. I'm kind of excited. We got into the blind here well before daylight this morning and started just kind of glass and it was really foggy early, couldn't really see. I guess about 7.30, 8 o'clock, got a group of six does lead across this area here. Out in front of us, it seemed like something spooked them out here. They came back and they ended up going back. We never did see a buck. Uh, it's really starting to cool off and the weather forecast has got really, really bad. We're going to have to go back to the camp and put on some more clothes. It's 45 degrees when we left this morning and they weren't predicting the north wind to start blowing until tonight. So, uh, do I have hands? I, I can't tell. Um, we're going to pack up and go back to the camp and get some warmer clothes. We'll drink about 22 gallons of coffee and pour the rest of it over ourselves this afternoon maybe get a chance at a, at a big buck. I love cold weather, but there comes a point in time when cold gets ridiculous. And anytime you hang a team on the end of a number, that's ridiculous. I yeah, saw a really, really good buck, one that I would definitely shoot. He wasn't on any property that we could hunt, but he was close, so maybe this afternoon we can get in there and kind of got me excited, made me forget about the 22 degree weather and the wind chill. I'm not cold anymore. <clears throat> About to pass out, I'm so hot. Shooting sticks. <clears throat> Smoke pole. Is that everything? Probably Your not. Gloves? Yeah, but, but I can't stand to wear them. But I got them. How can I text on my five cell phones if I don't have gloves <laughs> on? Five? Yeah. Battery goes dead. I'll have to leave early, so I got plenty of phones. <laughs> now we know how it got ripped. hard time finding anything that we had, you know, game camera pictures of, but we just never could find them. We're running out of light pretty fast. Today is about over. These deer seem to be pretty nocturnal, so maybe it'll happen tomorrow. It's always one thing or another. We put a GoPro on the side of the truck to film the tire going flat, and we get here and no GoPro. So. Cater and the rest of the guys went back to try and find the GoPro. I kind of secretly hope it lost it, just for Rick's sake. But um, 
I don't know, I like giving the camera guys a hard time. I'm fairly certain that there is no greater challenge or pain in the butt bigger than trying to sneak up on any animal with the bandwagon, AKA cameraman, following you. Because they never see it. I can't see him, I can't see him. I know he's right over this little, he's right behind that stuff. They're never ready. Dan, why don't you throw it to him? To Dave. I've already done that. We know what we're doing, and you again weren't ready. <laughs> they always want to walk beside you when you're creeping. You know, you're, you're, you're sneaking, man, you're down, you're below this bush, and you look up and the elk, the deer, the hog, whatever it is you're after, is just running like hell the other way. I'm, I'm sneaking along and I, I'll look over there and the cameraman's just like walking along, carrying their camera and you're just like, dude, help me out here. You know, be small. Here's your camera, man. Standing straight up with a tripod and a camera this big. And you look over there and the camera's like swinging from side to side. What, what in the hell are you doing? It's definitely a challenge. It makes it so much harder. Hold on, wait. I'm not on him. You know, that's the that's my biggest pet peeve is is the cameraman's not on him. And then you're gonna hear something like, well if we if I don't get it on film, we don't have a TV show. Well, guess what, light bulb? If we don't kill the animal, we don't get a TV show either, so we're even. Hit the go button quicker. Dustin was actually driving to meet up with us. We were gonna kind of, you know, meet up at the middle of the day. And he calls us and says, hey, I, I see this really nice buck that I think Stephanie needs to shoot. What is the story? Um, I don't have it. You need to move over here. It's, yeah, right there. I was driving out. I was bow hunting this morning. I saw this deer bedded. I was looking at him. Looks like a really good eight point. I hope we can find him bedded up down here. We kind of bumped him out of the truck and he kind of trotted off down on this bottom, but Stephanie's got a longer reach than I do with my bow, so. You were gonna finally admit that I'm a better shot than you, but you didn't. You probably are a better shot than you. Though. Go back to him and get that on tape. I can't say it on tape. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I can't say that. She's not a better shot than me. Bottom line, okay? You never have too much oral hygiene. Even before the hunt, we try to keep our mouth clean. We're expecting, we're expecting a celebration kiss. So we've got the heavy mint work going here. How about the hike? It's all about oral hygiene with wildlife. Perfect. Okay. The location that Dustin thought this buck was in, you know, we had to go way around and you know, get, get where we were downwind and you know, get to where we thought we could get to where he was, which is you know, not easy. So you lost him right in here. Yeah, right now. That sucker could be right there. And we didn't know exactly where he went. You know, we knew he kind of went down and bedded somewhere, but we weren't exactly sure where he went. Real glad we have to wear orange in Kansas. We're standing near glass and we're just getting ready to pick up and move a little further out on the ridge. And Stephanie goes under her voice, he's right there. While they're looking that way, I'm like, dudes, he's over here. <laughs> and I just cut my eyes that way to look. And here's this buck standing right down there at about 100 yards, looking right up the hill at us. Once we saw him, it's like, that's it. You know, turn it on, let's get going, let's get position. And, uh, that's never easy, you know, because when you see him, 99% chance he's seen you. You got him. You got to get all these people in position and get where you can get a shot on TV. It's not the easiest thing you've ever done. You want him? He needs to see him. You can't see him. At that point, my blood pressure goes to somewhere around 700, over 400, somewhere in there. You know, I've got veins sticking out of my temples. I grunted at him. Dan was standing beside me. You know, his instincts were to grunt at him. 
he starts slowing down as he's getting up the top of the hill. He's behind a tree for a little ways. Dustin starts grunting at the deer. It clears the top of the tree and he's up on the hill. Dustin grunts and he stops and turns broadside. And I tell Steph, now. When you finally get the go ahead, it's just like, whew, okay, it's my turn. I can do what I need to do. Good job. Hey, good job. She smacked him and dropped him. You do shoot better than I do. Did you get that? Anytime I can get Dustin to admit that I did something good, well, Mark went up for me. I done a good job. Those few seconds when that camera can't see that deer, he is stroke city for me. Well, you know, we come around the corner, and he's I'm, right I just there look over there and I'm like, song. he's right there, Dustin. I've been hunting cans a long time, and there's the first dead one I've seen. I can't wait to get some. This is the you. first deer I've seen. That's a good one. <laughs> I know. Perfect. Good job. Hey, I've seen a bunch of them, but that's the first dead one I've seen. I think he's really, really heavy stuff. Good shot. He was down a ravine across a canyon, and he was running away from us. And I don't know, to be able to do something like that, it just, it really feels worthy. You feel just like you've accomplished something when you can make a shot on a good buck like that. <laughs> Older here too, I think. Hunting with cameras, it's not the easiest thing, but they do a wonderful job and they make us who we are. They produce a good show, they get good quality content, it gives a whole new challenge to hunting, and I'm up for the challenge. I'm happy, I'm proud when I can actually do something. That's living the wildlife.